Welcome, everyone, to another episode of the Keto Power Podcast. I'm Claude, your host and coach here to help. So once again, before we get started, we're starting to get into late December now, but it's still time to uh, benefit from the holiday sale. This is a bring a friend for free sale. So uh, anything you book in December, you can bring a friend uh, for free, share the cost between you, whichever way you prefer. Uh, we'll register both of you and you don't have to take your appointment in December. You can uh, wait till January, so long as the booking's in December. That's good enough for us, and we hope to see you there. Now, uh, I'm going to continue. I was um, working through a few studies uh, and research papers uh, indicating the benefits of certain uh, dietary modifications for um, combating COVID-19. And so this was planned as the last of this series, but uh, there's constantly new stuff coming out. It's, I find it absolutely fascinating and uh, somewhat disheartening that this isn't making it to um, the mainstream media because uh, there's a lot of good stuff in here. So I'm just going to do a screen share here and we will get going. A moment, let's see. <clears throat> okay, here we go. So if you're following this um, podcast on audio only, I suggest you uh, switch to our YouTube video. Uh, find us at the Keto Power Podcast, Keto Power Fitness um, YouTube page, and you'll get the visuals as I go through this uh, research paper here. And also, we will put the um, links to the paper itself in the uh, show notes. So you'll have that and you can review it uh, on your own. Okay, so this one's called switching host metabolism as an approach to dampen SARS-CoV-2 infection. This came out uh, was published in September on September 18th, 2020, so fairly recent, and it's been cited in a number of other uh, papers. Um, so uh, in the introduction here, I'm going to go uh, straight to my highlights. If you uh, want to go through the entire thing, the like I said, the link will be in the show notes. So with recent gradual opening after lockdown, several recommendations have suggested uh, have been suggested. Among these, dietary modification is one of the most important approaches that have been discussed to strengthen human immunity against the spread of viral infections. Now, I find this interesting because I haven't seen a whole lot of that. If you're just following the mainstream news, you are not going to hear a whole lot about uh, dietary modifications as a possible um, help with dealing with COVID-19, either as a population or as an individual. So they have the uh, reference here, uh, here in notes, and I've actually just cut and pasted to my copy of the research here, just to go through some of these titles here, because I think it's fairly important to note that there has been quite a bit of work done in there. And um, you can click on those links as well once you get to the article if you want to follow through with the difference, uh, different references. So uh, the first one's called Nutrition, Immunity, and COVID-19. <clears throat> the second one, uh, Individual Risk Management Strategy and Potential Therapeutic Options for COVID-19 Pandemic. Okay, imagine that. There are some therapeutic options. This was published in uh, PubMed, uh, PMC. Also, strengthening the immune system and reducing inflammation and oxidative stress through diet and nutrition, considerations during COVID-19 crisis. Also public, uh, published in PMC, PubMed, Google Scholar. Uh, the fourth one here, the inflammation link and the role of nutrition in potential mitigation. All right, so there's quite a bit of uh, stuff on there. Some of it is older and more preliminary, 
but uh, definitely worth a look and a consideration. Okay, so I'll just continue reading, scroll down a little bit here. Um, we'll go straight to switching the host lipid metabolism can stop virus replication and assembly. And it reads, a change in the metabolic pathway is called metabolic, uh, metabolic switching. Among these metabolic alterations, the most significant metabolic change is the shift from glucogenic glycolytic pathway, so the fed state, to the ketogenic pathway in the liver. That's your fasted state. Switching body metabolism from fed feasting state to the fasting state involves systemic and cellular remarkable adaptation to bioenergetic challenges from glucose to ketogenesis. This can cause an increase in ketones. So the two main ones are acetoacetate and beta-hydroxybutyrate. Uh, increase in mitochondrial stress resistance, increase in antioxidants, uh, antioxidant defenses, increase autophagy, increase DNA repair, increase insulin secre uh, sorry, decrease insulin secretion, and decrease mTOR, and decrease uh, protein synthesis. Okay, mTOR is uh, a growth factor uh, pathway. Uh, in the absence of current treatment for SARS-CoV-2, a strong interest has emerged regarding the optimization of the intake of dietary factors, specifically lipids, to effectively reduce inflammation and oxidative stress, thus strengthening the immune response during COVID-19 crisis. Given the indispensable nature of lipids in multiple stages of viral replication, the modulation of lipid profiles in host cells has been recently proposed as a potential novel strategy to combat human coronaviruses. Bioactive lipids with antiviral properties cited in the literature include certain long-chain monounsaturated fatty acid. Um, those... Uh, and medium chain fatty acids, uh, specifically lauric acid. Lauric acid, the primary fatty acid of coconut oil, is a saturated um, mono, um, sorry, medium chain fatty acid with potential uh, potent antimicrobial properties. When ingested, coconut oil is metabolized to produce the metabolite monolaurin. Medium chain saturated fatty acids such as lauric acid and long chain unsaturated fatty acids such as oleic acid of olive oil are highly active against envelope viruses such as coronaviruses. We have citation here. Monoglycerides of these fatty acids also show significant antiviral activity. Antiviral fatty acids impact the viral envelope causing leakage and at higher concentration can cause a complete disintegration of the viral particle, including the viral envelope. <clears throat> we'll go down a little bit further. The antiviral activity of lauric acid and monolaurin can be achieved through three distinct metabol uh, uh, sorry, three distinct mechanisms. First, lauric acid and monolaurin inactivates viruses by disintegrating the viral envelope thus reducing the infectivity of RNA and DNA envelope viruses. Second, lauric acid inhibits the late maturation stage in the virus replication cycle, as demonstrated in a study investigating the lauric acid-mediated me inhibition of the Junin virus, which possesses a similar structure to SARS-CoV-2. Third, lauric acid prevents the binding of viral protein uh, proteins to the host cell membrane as described for infectious ves uh, vesicular stomatitis virus. The effectiveness of the and safety of the lor of lauric acid as an antiviral compound against HIV were also suggested. The substantial uh, evidence for the antiviral properties of lauric acid, commonly found in coconut oil, 
is promising and encourages its further investigation as a potential therapeutic agent that is both affordable and clinically innocuous for SARS-CoV-2 infected patients. Okay, so this is cheap and it's a pretty safe potential treatment here and support, right? It's coconut oil and it's very readily available. Uh, going down further uh, under the title Switching Lipid Metabolism and Inhibition of the Cytokine Storm. Um, so this is important for the uh, most severe cases of COVID-19 where you get the cytokine storm, um, which usually call, uh, causes uh, lung damage um, and the most severe cases and potentially death. So this reads, once SARS-CoV-2 invades the cells, it hijacks the cell's machinery and uses it to ensure its proper replication. This disruption results in damaging the infected cells. This prompts a local immune response involving the recruitment of macrophages and monocytes that often readily subsides uh, permi uh, permitting patients to ultimately recover, um, yeah, to ultimate recovery. However, in more severe cases, viral replication triggers an aberrantly strong release of pro-inflammatory cytokines, a phenomenon termed as a cytokine storm, which causes damage to host tissue and contributes to lung injury and respiratory failure. The positive effects of intermittent fasting in triggering autophagy and, way, and the way how autophagy triggers the innate and adaptive immunity against viral infection, includes, including the SARS-CoV-2, is extensively reviewed. Hanan and colleagues reported the fa that fasting can provoke the host defense system through activating multiple physiological processes, including autophagy and immune responses. Let me go into that a bit more in detail here. I'll continue a little lower down. Besides its direct antiviral effect, MCTs, or medium-chain triglycerides, were reported to enhance microphage phagocytic activity and regulate the expression of several inflammatory mediators. Medium-chain fatty acids, including caprylic and capric and lauric acid, which are your main MCT oils uh, associated with co coconut oil, uh, were also shown to suppress the expression of interleukin-8, a pro-inflammatory cytokine, and the main chemo-attractant driving neutrophil lung infil uh, infiltration. During SARS-CoV-2 infection, the uncontrolled viral replication in lung tissue triggers the release of a wide range of pro-inflammatory cytokines, including interleukin-1 beta, interleukin-6, interleukin-8, and TNF-alpha. Three of the aforementioned cytokines have been reported to be significantly reduced upon intermittent fasting, which reinforces the hypothesized role of intermittent fasting in ameliorating the inflammatory background of the infection. The infl uh, infiltration of neutrophils to the airway tissue was widely reported, especially in severe stages of the disease. These neutrophils, while attacking infected cells, contribute largely to the destruction of lung tissue and hence the development of acute respiratory distress syndromes. syndrome. Therefore, by regulating interleukin-8 expression, medium-chain fatty acids may limit neutrophil infiltration and hence help to protect lung tissue from exaggerated immune response, okay? So we're talking all these benefits here, and we're not even talking about being ketogenic yet. The, the mere um, processing and ingestion of medium-chain fatty acids have a, um, a strong effect in uh, limiting these uh, cytokine storm. Lauric acid, on the other hand, uh, was shown to downregulate the expression of interleukin-6 in intestinal epithelial cells. Interleukin-6 is another key pro-inflammatory cytokine contributing to the cytokine storm observed in most patients with severe COVID-19 symptoms. It is released from, the ma from macrophages and dendritic cells uh, 
are infected with SARS-CoV-2. Further, interleukin-6 triggers the release of vascular endothelial growth factor, CCL2, and interleukin-8, causing an upregulation of C-reactive protein blood levels and increased infiltration of macrophage and neutrophils to the inflamed lung tissue. The cytokine suppressive effects of lauric acid suggest that it may help in preventing or at least regulating the uncontrolled wave of pro-inflammatory cytokines and its devastating systemic effect. Okay, so your most uh, abundant uh, fatty acid in coconut oil uh, plays a big role in mitigating um, interleukin-6, uh, sorry, interleukin-8, CCL2 uh, production and is able to limit the damage of the cytokine storm. <clears throat> so here they suggest a diet protocol. And for those of you already familiar with intermittent fasting and who are doing keto, the protocol itself might seem a little bit strange, uh, though according to their study here, um, converting somebody on a regular diet to this protocol had um, really good benefits in transitioning to uh, ketone productions uh, on a fairly short notice, um, seemingly. So I'll just read through here. So suggested diet to disfavor the viral replication and infection. Here we propose a medical hypothesis, either as a prophylactic or adjuvant supplement for people infected with SARS-CoV-2. Okay, so you can do this before you're uh, even exposed to the virus. And it's also useful for uh, people who have been, uh, who, who have the virus uh, with or without symptoms as a pro, uh, as the adjuvant um, therapy. Uh, this aims to mitigate the infection by changing the microenvironment of the host metabolism in a way that disfavors viral replication and controls the aggressive nonspecific immune response. This is based on a metabolic switch accompanied by host lipid metabolism to the ketogenic pathway. Caprylic acid, lauric acid-enriched coconut oil can be used as a ketogenic MCT supplement that is hypothesized to aid in suppressing viral replication and ameliorating the severity of COVID-19 complications. So um, your use of me medium chain triglycerides basically uh, will, will do two things. Uh, in itself, it'll have a beneficial effect just by the consumption and processing of these uh, fatty oils. And it'll also uh, trigger, um, when accompanied with a low-carb diet, a very low-carb diet, uh, it'll trigger the transition into the ketogenic state, which is also uh, highly beneficial. Also, by enhancing microphage activity, limiting neutrophil infiltration into the lung tissue, as well as suppressing interleukin-6 cytokine, one of the key players in the cytokine storm observed at later severe stages of the disease, medium-chain fatty acids may suppress uncontrolled immune responses. <clears throat> so you'll have the uh, link. You can go through the entire um, specific protocol. We'll just go to this image here, and I apologize if you're following on audio only. But like I said, go to the YouTube channel. Don't forget to uh, subscribe and uh, press on the bell so that you don't miss any more of our productions here. Um, so in this image here, hopefully you can see it well. Um, you basically have uh, the diet described. So uh, what they're suggesting is a, a breakfast high in protein um, and where you're going to add a, a drink that includes it. This could be like your, your um, what's called bulletproof coffee type drink that'll include uh, oleic acid from olive oil and uh, medium chain triglyceride uh, from coconut oil. Then uh, you're supposed to fast eight to 12 hours, but midday you get another drink of, uh, that includes medium chain fatty acids. And then uh, they suggest fruits and vegetables for dinner. 
Um, as far as that's concerned, they're not very specific uh, about which fruits and which vegetables, but if you need suggestions with that, we can certainly uh, help you um, select fruits and vegetables that will be ketogenic appropriate so that you maximize this um, this diet here in this protocol if you decide to do it. And you can contact us at info at ketopower.fitness or call 250-200-0788. Um, and um, hopefully we hear from you. If you're willing to try this protocol here, we'd be happy to help you with it. So, um, Figure one, this is a schematic representation of the diet regimen proposed to dampen SARS-CoV-2 infection by triggering the metabolic switching SARS-CoV-2 severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus, uh, medium chain fatty acids, and intermittent fasting. So conclusion, with the gradual opening after long lockdowns because of COVID-19 pandemic, we are proposing a prophylactic diet regimen that may... <clears throat> limit viral levels in the human body. This can be established by switching the host lipid metabolism, critical for viral replication and assembly, by induction to the ketogenic pathway using coconut-rich medium-chain fatty acids along with olive oil, followed by 8 to 12 hours fasting and a dinner rich in fruits and vegetables. The author has confirmed that this article Content has no conflict of interest. There was no funding for this research. Um, and that's it. So hopefully uh, that highlights some of the possibilities if you're looking for alternatives. If you've uh, decided, you know, I know a lot of people are hesitant to jump on the vaccine right away. Uh, for sure, that's still an option. But regardless, uh, you can have a vaccine that will protect you um, against a specific virus in this case, but your metabolic health <clears throat> will protect you against many, many conditions, including heart disease, hypertension, diabetes, uh, and, and all of these are comorbidities that are, are well documented to make the outcomes of the coronavirus uh, infection worse. So I least suggest you look into it. If you need help, ketopower.fitness, look us up and we'll be happy to help. And uh, on that, I don't think I'll be producing another video before Christmas. I'll try to fit one in between Christmas and New Year's, hopefully. And <clears throat> on that note, I will wish you a Merry Christmas, everyone. And enjoy your holidays. In moderation, of course, stay healthy, have fun, go outside, exercise, and enjoy the company of those of um, that are closest to you. Hopefully, you're uh, in a household where you can chill and enjoy each other's company. So the best to you, and we'll talk to you soon. Stop the share here. All right, good night to everybody.